Hello there and welcome back. In this video, we will talk about the best free CRM software out there, which is Bitrix24. We will learn how to use it and much more. To get started with, uh, with them, you can first come to the website, which is bitrix24.com. On the website, you can go through with all the amazing stuff they have returned to see how amazing platform they are. Uh, but to have a quick look, you can see that within CRM, you could do lead, deals, contacts, companies, generation, uh, quotes and invoices, online payments, sales automation, rules and triggers, contact centers, marketing and sales intelligence. Within collaboration, you can do chat and video calls, online meetings, feed, calendar, and within tasks and projects, you can create tasks, projects, time tracking management, task and project templates, all these things you can utilize and much more is here, Saturn stores. You can also create your own website directly using Bitrix24 platform. You can even manage your online store and do amazing stuff like such as web, web, web form creation and all that. Then we got HR and automation as well. You could you can have an employee directory within the platform. You can have the workforce management as well from, from Bitrix24 platform. So all these amazing things you can achieve through just one platform and that's Bitrix24. Now to get started with them, you either click on start for free or this button, doesn't matter. This should take you to the registration page. And in here, you could either register using any of these accounts, so Facebook, Google, Apple, and the other options that you have available, or you could enter the email address in here and click on register for free. And let's say you went through the sign process and it's simple. You just add the email address. And once you completed the sign process, it will take you to the dashboard, the Bitrix24 dashboard. Over here, don't get overwhelmed. Just think of it this way, one step at a time. So if you're if you're using it for the first time, then observe on the on the left hand side, this is the menu bar. You could explore all these things one at a time. And but before that, let's start with this pencil sign. You can click here and you can update the name of the company in here. Then you got find people. Let's say you already have people within your Bitrix24 connection. You can just find people through this feature. Then you can click here to update your profile, your company profile. You can invite more people within your Bitrix24 circle through this functionality. Then if you look at the menu bar, the first thing is just CRM. Uh, and if you click here, you'll be on the same dashboard that we're looking at because that was the part of the CRM. Now within CRM, the very first section, you could create deals, you can manage inventory. As you can see, you can manage customer stuff, sell stuff, analytics you could look at. You can have add-ons things like this. Uh, you can even uh, do the settings for the CRM and much more. But let's talk about how do you create a deal on within the CRM section. So to create a deal, you simply click on create and then it will load up the information where you can mention the name of the deal, the pricing and everything. So let's say you will be calling it deal number one then you will be setting up at the amount as 5,000. That let's say is the budget for the deal and the currency is US dollar. Then you can select the stage as well. So let's say if it's just a new, new stage, you can just select it and then you can decide what should be the end date for the deal. Let's say you wanna keep it May 5th. So you can keep it, you can add the contact. Now for decline, the contact name, phone, and email. You could also add company name, phone, and email and once you're satisfied. And of course, you could add more information as well, as you can see here. Once you're satisfied with all the information that you have filled in, you can click on save. And now what this will do, this will save the information as general and it will show it to you. The next you got, within even within deals, you, you got plenty of sections. You can go to products and you can uh, connect any products with that deal. So let's say if you, if you're giving a kind of training session within the uh, within the deal, you could also mention that, for example, I can say online training. So see, this option is all, all, already available, but let's say you want to give a product that's not available. So I may call something like um, uh, sessions, okay? So I may say session, but see, this product is not available. So I'll get an option. I can click on create session and the product will be created. I can just use calculate automatically or I can go with this one. So I'll just put the value accordingly. I can click on image and I can even update the image for the product. I can select the price, let's say the price for this one is $50, let's say, and I'm fine with it. Then I can click on save. Then apart from it, 
I can I can go to course. I can so I can just create a course accordingly. I can go to automation. Now, automation is a big deal when it comes to Bitrix Twenty Four because they are kind of automation platform as well. So you can also go to automation and leverage it to the best of the capability. You could also create invoices and you can also set up the dependencies as well. And then you could explore market and more as well to see what can you do more with the deal. But let's say you are done with it since you already saved it. You can click anywhere. And it will ask you for practice CRM reminders. You can cancel it and the deal would be saved in here. As you can see, without activities, this one. So deal is already created. Like this, you can create multiple deals and you can also explore other advanced functionalities to learn more. So let's say you're done with the CRM. You, know, you, you learn how to create deals and you explore it enough. Then comes inventory management. So you could go to inventory management and you can manage your inventories as well, the inventories of your product. It could be uh, it could be online products or the physical products, doesn't matter. Then comes marketing. Now, this is also an important section here because through marketing, you can decide your strategy. You could, you could initiate campaigns, ads, segments, sales boost. You can create your own templates. You can have a blacklist, recipients, uh, and even you can make settings for this specific section as well. But when, when we talk about strategy it could be an email campaign strategy so you could also start an email campaign strategy from here click here and follow through these steps you could even initiate sms campaign uh, messengers voice broadcasting or audio call you could even start with google ads facebook ads and all this directly from this section the marketing section then you got sites and sales so we were talking about that through betrix 24 you could also create your site you could also create your online stores, all these amazing stuff that you can do. As you can see, to start with it, you have to click on sites and store, click on create and just follow the prompts that you get afterward. Then we got task and projects. So as an as an employee, you definitely want to have the task and projects in 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 completion, isn't it? So for that you have to maintain it, you have to manage it. So this is a place that where you can do it. Then comes the collaboration part where you could initiate chats and calls with your employees. You can set up your own calendar. You can have online documents and all that stuff. Then comes the company part. So let's look at the company part. Within company part, you can you can create a structure. So let's say your company, you can click on edit here and you can update the name of the company here. And uh, currently it, it is, it's saying that you got three department, accounts department, marketing department, and sales department. If you wanna add any sub department, you click on this plus sign and add it. And if you wanna add the name of this department, or if you wanna just delete them, click on delete, delete or add it. So let's say you wanna add one more department and let's call it HR department. You click on add department and just write HR department. And you can select the parental department, which is the my company. And you can click on add. As you can see, HR department got added. But what if you want to add more, you know, subsection within HR department? You click on plus and let's call it recruitment department. So, and let that be part of HR department. So I can click on add and I can see it got added. So like this, I can even create the entire structure of my company. I, now I can go to the employee and I would be able to see all the employees which are basically part of my Bitrix24 circle. So I would be able to see those employees, employees over here. Now, if I want to add more employees, you know, if I want to invite more invoice to my Bitrix24 uh, account, I can click on invite uh, employees. And just from there, I could... I could directly send a link with them. I can invite them via link. I can copy the link and I can share it with them. I can even send them an email. They click on the link and they become part of my circle. I can do bulk invitation. And through any of these, I can invite employees of my company with it by Bitrix24 circle. And, and when I do that, I would be able to keep track of time and reports. I can even, if I like, I can just explore knowledge base. I can have video conferencing with my employees and I can even configure this menu as well to my liking okay now if you look at the other section then we got after company we got automation so again you could explore the automation section and see you know what automations can you create what can you leverage then comes application part you got market and you got developer resources as well uh, if you have a tech department, they could look at these things and they can they can see that okay if there's anything that they could uh, they could leverage from these things they can also do that. So this is how you use Bitrix. 24. And I understand not all the functionalities of Bitrix 24 uh, would be for free. And that's where the pricing come into picture because 
if you like Bitrix, then there will be there will be a time when you might want to upgrade your subscription with them. So what are the pricing? So for that, you can go to Bitrix website again and click on pricing and you would be able to see. So currently they got four plan and depending on your location, the pricing may differ as well. Within free, uh, it's unlimited users. You can invite as many users as you like. And what you get, you get some collaboration part, some task and projects, the element drive and all that. Now, if you look at the basic one, you could have only five users, up to five users. Uh, and this would be US dollars 49, that's per month. And when you look at the standard one, they got, you can invite up to 50 users and that is with $99 per month. And with the professional, you can have up to 100 users with $199 per month. So you could buy, and definitely depending on what you're buying, you get more functionality. So you see within free, you got only, as you can see the progression bar, only a few functionalities of these things. Uh, with, the, with the basic one, you get some more. Uh, with the standard one, you even get better. And with the professional one, you get everything. Now let's say you wanna, you wanna look at functionality in, in depth. So you can click on anywhere, it doesn't matter. And you will see what do you get more in there. So you can see, and whatever you like, you can start with it. But if you're starting it for the first time, Bitrix24, the best thing is to explore the platform. See if they're really well suited for your, your company. If that's the case, that's when you might want to upgrade yourself. But if you know them well, and if you have been using them well, so there could be a possibility that you might want to create an account directly with the upgraded version. So you can do that. So I hope the video was helpful to you. And this also brings us to the end of the video. So ensure you like the video. Click on the bell icon and subscribe to the channel so that any video we create, you get notified for the same. Thanks for watching.